hello guys welcome back to my channel on today's tutorial i'll be demonstrating how to make a kimono maxi dress hi my name is ayo and i'm reaching you from lagos nigeria on this channel i upload diys pattern drafting and sewing tutorials if you haven't subscribed yet kindly do so and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video so now let's get right into the tutorial thank you so i have here two different ankara prints i've already folded each ankara print into two i place the two prints on top of each other as i will be cutting the front and the back together the width of the fold is the hip circumference divided by four plus eight inches i left a space of about three inches by the side and I've also already ruled out the starting line at the top. I will now go ahead and measure the full length of the dress like this. And I will square a horizontal line across. I will also go ahead and measure out the armhole depth. You can use anything between 9 to 13 inches. You can use anything from 10 to 13 inches depending on the size you are working with. I will measure about 10 inches and I will square the line across like this. From the starting line, I go ahead and measure the shoulder to true waistline measurement. In my own case, it is 8 inches. I will square the line across. From the true waistline to the hip line, in my own case, it is 10 inches. I will square the I will measure 10 inches and I will square the line across. I will now go ahead and divide my shoulder to shoulder measurement by 2 which is 16 over 2 and is equal to 8 inches. I will now measure and mark 8 inches on the starting line like this. I will extend the shoulder by 10 inches and I will mark this point. This will be the kimono sleeve. From this point to this point is the shoulder, while from this point to this point is the kimono sleeve. I will now go ahead and mark the neck curves. For the front, I will use 4 inches by 4 inches for the neckline. And for the back, I will use 4 inches by 2 inches for the neckline. At the tip of the shoulder line plus the 10 inches extension, I will come down by 1.5 inches. I will now connect it to the neck. I will now connect the next point to the shoulder with a slant like this. I will now go ahead and estimate my boss measurement divided by 4 plus 3 inches. The 3 inches is for ease and same allowance and this is 39 all over 4 plus 3 inches and this gave me 12.75 inches. I will now measure and mark 12.75 inches on the armhole line like this. On the waistline, I will divide my waist circumference by 4 plus 3 inches for ease and same allowance. This is 35 all over 4 plus 3, which is equal to 11.75. I will now measure and mark 11.75 inches on the waistline like this. 
on the hip line, I will divide my hip circumference by 4 plus 4 inches for the ease and the seam allowance. I'm using 4 inches because of the style line of the dress. The hips is a little bit on the bogus side. The calculation gave me 14.75 inches. So on the hip line, I will measure and mark 14.75 inches like this. At the end, I will divide my hip circumference by 4, which is all 43 all over 4, which gave me 10.75 inches. I will now measure and mark 10.75 inches at the end of the dress. I will now add additional 1 inch to this for the side seam allowance. I now go ahead and connect all the points together like this. I will now go ahead and cut it out. I will slit each piece into two at the middle. Like this for both the back and the front. Since I intend to combine the two anchor prints. Before cutting out the neckline, I will pick one piece of each print like this. So that different prints will be used for both the back and the front of the dress. I will now go ahead and cut out the front neckline first. I will now go ahead and measure 2 inches for the back neck depth. Like this. I will redraw the back neckline, then I will cut it out. I will now go ahead and notch the 3 inches allowance that I left at the center of the dress. I will now set aside the back pattern. I do not need this much allowance at the center front, so I will measure and mark half an inch allowance at the center. This will be the same allowance to join the two. Cara prints together. 
I will now trim off the excess. I will now draft the side pockets on this paper. I've already drawn a margin of 2 inches at the top and on the left hand side of the paper. The pocket will be 13 inches long. I will measure and mark 13 inches like this and it will be 6 inches wide. I will now draw a rectangle using this dimension, using this measurement. I will now go ahead and measure 7 inches for the pocket mouse opening and also 1 inch for the side seam allowance like this I will now go ahead and draw the shape of the pocket like this using my free hand I will now add half an inch seam allowance all around the pocket, like this. I will use the pattern to cut four pieces of the pocket. I will now cut out the side pocket pattern like this. So now I've already gone ahead to cut out four pieces of the pocket on my fabric, as you can see. I also have here this striped fabric. I'll use this for the front pocket. The size is 12 inches by 12 inches. And I've already pressed in the seam allowances in place, as you can see. These are the two back pieces and I've already fixed interfacing to the neckline of the dress. These are the two lining pieces for the back and I've fixed interfacing to the neckline of the lining pieces. The lining is 2 inches shorter than the main fabric. The same thing applies for the front for the front lining pieces as well. So these two pieces are for the front. I will measure and mark 6 inches for the opening at the center front. You can use about 4 to 6 inches for this opening. Remember that there won't be a zip at the back of this dress. From this opening, I will now stitch all the way to the end using half an inch sewing allowance. I will do the same thing for the lining as well. So now I'm done with that as you can see. I will now go ahead and stitch the neckline using half an inch seam allowance.
So now that has been done as you can see now I've already turned it to the right right side I undersee the seam allowance to the neckline of the lining I now set aside the front piece so these are the two back pieces At the end of the dress, I will measure and mark 10 inches like this for the back vent opening. Then I will measure and mark 1 inch allowance at the center back like this. I will do the same thing for the lining pieces as well. I will now go ahead and trim off the excess. So I've already fixed the interface into the back vent of the main fabric. I will now go ahead and mark half an inch for the center back seam allowance on both the lining and the, and the main fabric. I stitch like this up to this point. I also stick like this up to this point. For more details on how to stitch a perfect back vent, you can watch my tutorial on this. Its link will be above the description box below. So now I'm done with the back vents. I will now go ahead and stick the neckline of the main fabric and the lining together. After stitching, I will notch the seam allowances and I will undersee the seam allowance to the neckline of the lining piece. So now that has been done, I will now move over to the pocket. The pocket will be fixed at a distance of 18 inches from the neck, from the, from the shoulder. 
I will measure out 18 inches like this and I will mark. We transfer it to the side seam. I will now pin the pocket pieces in place at the side seam like this. Right side to right side. I will pin in place. I will now take it to my sewing machine and stick it in place using 1 inch sewing allowance. So now that has been done as you can see, I will now go ahead and join the shoulder seams together using half an inch sewing allowance. I will do this using the fabric to fabric and lining to lining technique. So now that has been done as you can see. I will now go ahead and stitch the M of the kimono sleeve using half an inch sewing allowance. So now that has been done for the two sleeves. So now it's now time to join the side seams together. I'll be doing this using the fabric to fabric and lining to lining method. So I will pin them in place like this. So I will stitch in this direction like this. All the way to the end of the lining.
So now that has been done, as you can see, and I've already turned the dress to the right side. I will now go ahead and fix this pocket. I will go ahead and fix this front pocket. I already folded and pressed the seam allowance. So I will stick the upper part like this using one inch seam allowance. After which I will now stick it to the main dress. I will fix the pocket about 19 inches away from the from the shoulder. You can make it slanted like mine or you can make it straight. The choice is yours. So that's it guys, we are done. This is the final look of the dress on my dress form. Do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in my next tutorial. Bye and thank you for watching.